Yo, what's going on everybody? Black Mamba here, doing some more roster reviews. Uh, today I got Daddy Dino, or Daddy Dino, um, from A Wretched Hive, one of our Allegiance guilds. Always nice to do an ally review. So he's running Jedi Knight Revan with Thrawn as a capital ship for fleet. All of a sudden, I'm seeing all these golds. I'm lacking the golds. He's a 2.8 roster, 2.8 mil roster. Uh, so just under myself, which is very close. Let's go ahead and see what he's doing with speeds. So BB-8's your fastest, which is interesting since you're running Jedi Knight Revan in Arena. Typically what you want to do is have your Arena team your fastest. So I'm seeing 74 additional speed on him. And then you got 79 here with Dooku, Rey, and then Jedi Knight Revan. So based off the beginning, I'm already seeing that you need to work on some speed mods for sure. As a 2.8 million roster, you should have several, I'm talking like 15 sets of 100 or more, like plus 100 more. And you don't have any, so um, yeah. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna just gonna mention that you should start farming some speed mods uh, in any way you can. Uh, that may be straight up going to the challenges, saving up credits to buy speeds. Um, and what I'm talking about is, for example, um, any of these. Here's a here's a great example. So if you see a gold mod in the store and you see it has a plus five speed in the secondary go ahead and buy that and then see what rolls at 12. Uh, you may use a lot of credits a lot of us waste uh, millions of credits on mods but mods are the way to get better at this game it's how to improve your team um, as well as uh, mod challenges is another way to grant uh, some speed mods. It's the longest part of the game, the longest farm, but it's the most worth it. It'll improve every aspect of your roster. I can show you more in depth uh, after this as well. Uh, for gear wise, uh, you've chosen some great bounty hunters and I like how you have five uh, or three of them at gear 12, two of them gear 11s, but five very well geared and the rest are left alone, which is fine. Uh, I see you're probably working on Jenga as he's five stars. Uh, how's your box doing? So we looked earlier and the boss was, was pretty decent speed, but um, obviously you can improve on some speed here because uh, the Mamba rule is plus 10 speed secondary minimum. Uh, again, just Farming those will be eventually what you want to do, but speed speed and defense is perfectly fine uh, I would prefer speed and tenacity for sure More tenacity the better on this guy But I definitely want him to be fast and it looks like you're focusing that as well Crit damage and crit chance is how you want to mod him, but you definitely want him to be um, a little faster 67 speeds not terrible on him uh, And then Dengar you're missing some mods here, but uh, I'm sure you have those somewhere. You might have just been moving them around at some part or point in the game. Definitely make sure you double check all of these mods before Grand Arena lock. Uh, if this was current, I know the Grand Arena got canceled for today, um, probably because of the, the Google mess up, Google account mess up. But um, <laughs> check your mods, man. Uh, make sure they're all set before you go in because, yeah, you're missing quite a bit for now. Uh, don't know if you've worked on clones. Looks like you have. Looks like you're starting there. Um, they may be very important in the next month or two. We'll see. Um, definitely get your boy Rex up. And again, mods are important. Make sure you have mods equipped to everybody you want. How's your Grievous team? Looks like you have Grievous and you have his unique, which is the most important one. But uh, I see you have crit damage and then one health mod set. 
Um, this is not what I would recommend. Uh, crit damage is great on him, yes, but you can have the crit damage triangle mod on this, uh, and then, like, not not the actual blue color crit damage. I'm talking about the uh, gold lettering that you see where it says right now plus percent health. You want that to be plus crit damage. Um, the mods themselves, you want all six of these to be health mods. Uh, with you can if you really like crit damage, you can put crit damage here. That's what I personally do. And then he does not need crit avoidance. Definitely give him some health here. Uh, health here, but you want speed for sure. Uh, speed secondaries are the biggest part of this game. And then uh, this is okay. I mean, seven speeds not the best, but definitely work on some more speed. See, this is this is fine. Plus eleven is good, but you definitely want. Plus, uh, plus speed in the secondaries and health in all six. And then your Jordica is still three stars. I'm kind of surprised. Um, you want your, you want to start farming your Jordica and your B1. Looks like you've completely just not really farming them at all. Um, <laughs> it's a top three team right now is Grievous, Magna Guard, B1, Jordica and B2. So I'd highly recommend that farm um, as well. You've got the double Zeta Palpatine, you got the Zeta Vader. Thrawn should be one of your top five fastest characters in your roster. It's not looking like that. Uh, you want to get him some speed uh, for sure. 26 speed, I mean, might as well just get a five dot and give him plus four more speed. Uh, but you want five dot mods for sure, and then some s more speed besides plus three. Um, for example, when you're slicing mods, uh, let's say this started at plus three and it was a gray mod or a green or whatever. Um, if you slice it to blue and it does not roll, uh, the the speed just forget about the mod. That's all I gotta say. Um, if it's a plus three. And speed does not roll when it's going to blue or even purple. Just don't even go for it. Um, you want purple mods to be at least plus 10. Uh, some go to plus 15 at purple. I've had a plus 18 at purple. Um, it's just luck of the roll is what you want to do. And this, yeah, see, just get some more speed secondaries for sure all around. But the uh, speed set itself is what you is what you have and what is good. Uh, curious why you have General Veers leveled up and modded, or not modded, uh, leveled up and abilityed up, meaning you have Omegas on him and he's gear 10 with no mods and no other troopers. Because if you have a, a pretty good Veers but no troopers to back him up, it's kind of a waste of gear and resources. Just a heads up, um, if you're wanting to do a full Empire team, I'd recommend Palpatine, Vader, Thrawn, Tarkin, and Royal Guard based off your roster. Um, and you're going to want to mod him for more speed for sure. Uh, let's see. You do have Ewoks because I saw you have 3PO. Yes. Grand old job. Ewoks are one of these annoying factions. <laughs> First order, okay, so you have five right now. Um, if I were you, I'd drop Phasma. I would not gear her anymore. Uh, unfortunate that it's already at gear nine, but if you're wanting to succeed in the future, I would recommend farming uh, Fox or First Order Executioner. He's the main damage dealer of your First Order. Uh, farm him out. He's a really, really, really easy cantina node. You'll have him seven stars in like a month, if not less. Uh, gear him up, star him up. Uh, put a Zeta on Kylo Run Unmasked, his leadership. Um, and that's pretty much the only Zeta you need on this team that is absolutely essential. Obviously, other Zetas help, but he's his lead is the most important. And I would go Kylo Ren Unmasked, Kylo Ren, First Order Officer, 
tie pilot and first order executioner based off what you have right now um and then put some mods on these guys <laughs> three mods uh won't do much especially and then a a level one mod is completely useless just gonna say that right now um if you're gonna do anything to save credits uh just bring this guy up to level 12 it's only 86k for gold wise credits and you'll have a uh, 20 plus speed arrow instead of a plus four if you're gonna try to save credits yeah man you you really need to farm some mods you're missing a, a bunch um yeah i'll stop mentioning mods because just i'll be repeating myself just know for the rest of the video you got to farm some mods man that's the most important thing uh did you get padme you did you got her seven stars that's absolutely incredible uh, how did you do that? What are your... That is rather impressive that you got 7 star from that. Good job. Very good job. I'm thoroughly impressed. Really happy that you got, um, 7 star Padme. Incredible. Okay, so... I'm going to suggest a team to work on if you're going to run Padme. Uh, of course, Padme lead, Ahsoka Tano right here, uh, General Kenobi, Anakin, and where is he? What the heck? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Duh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, where's 3PO? He's right here. So um, definitely those is your five. Uh, if you want to run, do you, I haven't gotten your Rebels yet, but if you have CLS, you could run 3PO CLS and run a different person there, hoping it's Mace Windu, but please do not take my word on Mace Windu. That is a total uh, speculation, but for now, I'd do Padme, Ahsoka, Anakin, GK, and 3PO as your five for Padme. Uh, Padme, you want full health mods, which it looks like you do have. Speed's not entirely essential, so 58 speed's actually perfect, um, to be honest. Anakin, you want crit damage and crit chance. Health is okay, but you want him to hit really hard. Um, health is okay on him. GK, you just want tanky. Tenacity's okay. Uh, with Okay, no, this this will work. This will actually work for him. To be honest, that's all right. Um, yeah, and then Ahsoka, you want some offense, which you do have. Looks like you're, you've are you done some research on some Padme stuff, but you definitely want more speed. 127 is not a whole lot. She does get 50 speed from her unique, which makes uh, 177. But um, you definitely want to get her into the 200s if possible. Uh, 220, 230 would be ideal. Uh, definitely work on your Genotions and work on Genotion Brood Alpha after Fox or before Fox, whichever one you choose. Um, Brood Alpha is an amazing lead for the Geos and he makes them a totally different faction. Um, they are absolutely amazing with uh, Genotion Brood Alpha. Just phenomenal team. I'd say top six team in the game, seven team in the game. Um, definitely work towards them. You are running Jedi Knight Revan. If I were you, I would put your absolute best and fastest set on Jedi Knight Revan. Yes, offense is cool. It makes them do a lot of damage, which is neat to watch somebody hit for 60K, but he needs to be fast. Uh, faster the better. For this guy if you want someone to hit hard give your best offense mods to him um, his speed can be fine at plus 70 he just needs to hit like a freaking truck uh, try to get your special offense to plus 2000 if you can I know it's not possible for everybody but uh, the way to do that is 6e in offense but give see this 7 speed secondary uh, try to get that plus 10 plus 12 
with also offense in these four stats as well, especially for Yoda. Um, you can either do an offense or a crit damage on this. Since you have a plus 15 speed, secondary, and a 3% crit chance on this guy, I would keep this mod on him. Um, and then definitely swap this out for a better speed secondary um, mod on this guy and with some offense as well. Um, what I'm talking about for offense is like we're here. In this secondary, you have plus 73 offense. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about secondaries on offense. But uh, for, for Grandmaster Yoda, you 100% want a speed arrow on him. The only exception, and I'm talking about only exception, is if you have an offense arrow with like plus 25 speed secondary, which is a rarity, but I've seen it. <laughs> uh, but for you, I would recommend speed arrow on on your Yoda um, and some other stuff to be improved for him. Hermit Yoda, if you're going to use him, he needs to be super fast as well. Uh, looks like he does have one of your fastest sets, uh, which is good. Uh, you want him to be a fast little boy as well. Fast old boy, I guess. Uh, this is very well modded. Don't change a thing on him. Um, speed with health is how you want. Except here. This is what you can change. Uh, he does not need a crit damage triangle. He does not hit R at all. He'll crit for 3k. <laughs> uh, so give him a health percentage triangle. And you can give this mod to somebody else who needs it more than him. Um, protection's okay. And same here. But uh, health is always preferred for Jolie. Good to see you've started working on Night Sisters. I would highly recommend gearing your, your Talzin, even at five stars. She's amazing. Uh, I'm really happy to see you have Night Sister Spirit at six stars. Uh, even if she's low gear, I vastly suggest you mod her. Or not mod her. Uh, well, yeah, mod her. But gear her. To at least gear 10, she's useful at gear 10. And your 5 should be Asajj, Daka, Zombie, Talzin, and Spirit. Uh, mod them all for speed. Uh, except for Asajj, you want to be modded for crit damage, crit chance. Daka for health with additional speed if you can. Um, and the rest, just get them as fast as you can uh, for a successful lineup. Uh, I would recommend farming Juhani, Karth, and Candorus. Looks like you've definitely started the farm. It's a long farm, but keep it up. Uh, it's definitely worth it to get Darth Revan. He's currently the best leader in the game in the meta. Uh, it may change by the time you get it, but that does not mean to stop going for it because he will uh, probably forever be a top five team in the game. His, his lineup is just amazing. Uh, maybe top 10 at the end point of the game uh, based off the scaling of how this game's going. But uh, with that being said, he will be a very, very, very good Territory War and Grand Arena team to get to. So definitely work towards him. Rebels, I see you double Zeta CLS with some 6E mods. Um, definitely work on some speed a little bit. He does better with more speed. Uh Get him as close to 280 if possible, uh, 270 if you can. I do like the crit damage set you have on him. Um, it does make him hit harder, which is good. Crit damage and potency, I mean, I, I actually kind of like it. Uh, just give him some more speed secondaries for sure. R2-D2, you got the double Zeta, you got the speed, you got the potency, I like it. But the speed you got to get to, I mean... Bare minimum is plus 70 speed if you can. Uh, the way you can improve that is by getting rid of all mods like this that don't have any speed secondaries. Uh, again, plus 10 if you can afford it and go for it. Um, Chewbacca, yes, you can mod him for crit damage, crit chance with a little bit more speed. Uh, but keep that up. I like the character farming you have chosen this is this is all right for him 
It doesn't need to be super fast, but obviously speed helps everybody. You have JTR. Fantastic. Uh, BB-8 is your fastest character that you have. Uh, so that's good that you have him fast, but um, I would give your fastest sets to your arena team for the time being. Uh, crit damage is, is good on her. Just give her a little bit more speed, of course. Um, and if you can, put up potency. Oh, okay, you already do. Good. Just uh, some speed in that secondary would be helpful. Uh, separatists. We looked at these earlier. Uh, I'd highly recommend farming Joydica and B1. They're very long farms. Please get started on it. It would help you so much in the long run. They're an amazing team. Um, and also work on the Geos and Brood Alpha for sure. My boy Sith. Um, you have not unlocked Treya yet. Uh, sh you eventually will. Uh, she's one of the, I don't know, top 15 characters in the game. Top leaders, top 10 leaders in the game. Um... She's phenomenal. Uh, at the same time, I would highly recommend farming Darth Sion, uh, Sith Trooper, Bastila Fallen. Those three are the main uh, three in all of the ones that you have not farmed already. Darth Sion used to be the best tank in the game, if not the second best tank in the game. Um, eventually, you want to get him. Sith Trooper is currently in the meta, um, so farm him. And Bastila Shan Fallen is the most annoying character in the current arena. Uh, well, besides Malak, but Malak's a different story. He's on a different level of annoyance. Um, but she has the most important debuff in the game, um, which is Corrupted Battle Meditation. Uh, so you've used some Omegas on her, but you haven't modded her well at all, and you have her gear, this is six, so, or gear seven. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to Omega her, then dude, you got to get her to at least gear 10 um, and give her some mods. She's incredible even at 4 star. 4 star gear 11, she works phenomenal. Uh, so definitely work towards towards her. Um, I don't think... Yeah, so let's check out your smugglers. Uh, Nest is the biggest... Biggest thing. Uh, this is also an extremely long farm, but well worth it. She is one of the best standalone characters. She can solo well over 20 teams just by herself. Um, she can solo Geos uh, given the right mods and scenario, but um, she can she can solo many teams, so I highly recommend farming her as well. Uh, but yeah, some recommended Zetas, uh, based, off, based off your current roster, uh, what I can recommend uh, is the Padme Zetas. I see you just unlocked her, I would assume. Uh, so for sure, both of her Zetas are very vital to the team. Both are extremely important. I would also recommend Kylo Ren Unmasked Zeta. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, Brood Alpha, when you get him, at, even at 4 stars, 5 stars, I believe he unlocks at 5, um, his Zeta on his Unique, not his Leadership, uh, I mean they're both good, but you want to do the Unique first, for sure, and then, let's see what other ones you can do, um, you can work on some Night Sisters and put some Zetas on those. But definitely uh, ask me which ones first before you do that. Um, and that would be my recommendations for now. Uh, but definitely work on gearing up your Thrawn to gear 12. You get some more speed there uh, would be another recommendation. But uh, work, on, work on farming for Darth Revan. Uh, some... Grievous team farm, some Night Sisters, as well as uh, your Sith that I recommended. Uh, and then for ships, I would highly recommend 
Um, your rebel ships, they are the meta right now. Uh, let's see, you have them all, seven stars, that's, that's great. How are your bounty hunters? You almost have enough for Millennium Falcon. I would recommend farming IG-2000 uh, and Xanadu Blood. Uh, get them to five star. You don't need to spend any money or rush to get seven star. Uh, Millennium Falcon is incredible at five stars. He can get top of arena at that point. Uh, but definitely work towards that. Then you'll be set because all of your rebels are um, seven stars. So you'd be you'd be in a great place for arena if you got Falcon. So hope that helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, take care.